Hello everybody, welcome back to another review on the channel. We're going to be doing Grave Encounters. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So Grave Encounters is a movie that... Uh, how can I say this? It's a found footage movie. It's about these group of ghost hunters that don't think uh, the asylum's haunted or ghosts are real. And they talk to the owner or whatever the guy that runs the place, and <clears throat> they're gonna stay overnight in it and explore. And they think everything's fake about the building, but it turns out it ain't. So um, they go in, they stay overnight, then they're getting ready to pack up, but it turns out. It's still dark outside, so, <clears throat> so, they guess, um, it's, we have to wait a couple more hours for the sunlight to come up in the shit, and so they do, and then it doesn't, like, but they set up cameras all throughout the fucking places, so, then they have to go back and get them and shit, so, um, so they're wandering around, they're trying to, break through the door, but it turns out the door to leave is another room. Like, the building's, like, moving around. Like, there's, like, dead ends and shit. Which is pretty fucking cool. Like, I'm being dead ass. Pretty fucking cool that this happens. So, um, they're trying to find a way to escape, and then I forget his name. Is his name Mac? Or whatever the fuck I'm gonna call it. He ends up getting sucked into the bathtub by a, a girl. And uh, blood comes out and he's gone. And they lost Matt, I think that's his name. The, the guy that controls everything, like the one that watches over security cameras and shit. And, uh,. Matt goes to get a, one of the cameras, but he ends up wandering off somewhere else. And uh, you don't know what happens to him at the very end. But it turns out, they're walking through the fucking building and shit. They find Matt in a fucking hospital gown. Like, hospital gown, like literally. And um, he doesn't know who the fuck they are. So he, they're trying to jog his memory, and he laughs un historically. And they find an elevator, which I think, yeah, they try. They found an elevator, and they're trying to get out of there, which the elevator leads to the sewer system, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, tunnel. And, um, I forget the guy's, the guy that runs the show name. Uh, but, well, the guy that runs the show ends up going back and getting one of the um, fucking bars on fucking hospital shit, and he ends up finding a tongue on the floor, which is from a bleeding fucking monster, or whatever you call it. He looks up and it's a fucking monster, and he jumps down, and he's running and shit, he's trying to open the fucking door, well, trying to keep the door shut, and then Matt, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, that holds the camera, ends up falling down the fucking elevator shaft, Ends up killing himself, which I don't get why, because it's crazy. Like, and then they end up getting to the sewer system, then, uh, which is long as sewer system. Then they just stay there, because there's no point of escaping. So, him and the girl are staying, just sitting there, and then the girl, um, a bunch of smoke passes by or fog or mist, and the girl's. And um, when it's all gone, the girl's gone. And the guy's looking for him. Well, looking for her. And he cannot find her. So the only way of food is he kills a rat viciously and eats it. And at the very end, he's saying there's demons on these walls or whatever you want to fucking call it. Then he wakes up, he finds a door in front of him. And then he goes to this fucking weird ass place. And he finds articles on doctors and shit, or whatever I call it, satanic books and shit, like satanic, 
sat Satanism, and he stumbles into this room with um, the doctor that died, that done most of the fucking sacrificing at the hospital. And then this weird guy, op like, right here, he opens his mouth, he ends up, like, jump-scaring him, and then Lance Preston, yeah, Lance Preston, I got it, I got it. Lance Preston's saying, um, no, no, I've been good. And then it cuts back to him, um, saying, I'm all better now, I can go home. And then he, sa he says, it's final, this is Grave Encounters, whatever you want to call it, and then the movie ends. And... Oh yeah, the old guy, I forget his name, but one that can sense everything, like their spirits and shit, he ends up dying by getting choked. By a fucking spirit. Or like, dragged in the fucking air, then all the way down. I don't know, like, they pick him up or in some shit, but... Yeah. <clears throat> one hell of a movie. I like this movie, I... It's a great fucking movie, it's a great horror, it's a great fucking pleasure to watch this shit. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be doing Grave Encounters 2. I wish they made a third one, because their Grave Encounters 1 and 2 are both good fucking movies. But, yeah. That's about it. I guess I can make more movie reviews, more commentaries, more movie versus movies, more fran franchise versus franchise. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. Keep sucking, Nick.